Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and today I'm going to do a first impression swatches and give you a little bit of my thoughts on this palette. So this is from iHeart Revolution. This is the Mini Tasty Avocado palette. This is how it looks. I already done this with this palette. This is the Mini Tasty Peach palette and this video is already up. It went up on Monday so I will leave it up in the card for you to watch but today we're gonna do it with this and I'm gonna show you how it looks it's kind of the same packaging as the peach one so it is a plastic and you have this soft like avocado here and you can feel the texture here but this is how it looks guys It is a very, very cute palette. So yeah, I am going to start with the swatches. So let's swatch this little guy right here. I have my arm ready. So let's start with the first shade and let's see. Yeah, so this is, this looks like a topper, but it's a very, very beautiful topper. It's a very glittery formula and you can see my skin picking through. So it's not that opaque, but it's very shimmery. It's almost like a champagne. Perfect for an unicorn highlight or just, as I said, a topper. Next shade is a matte. And let's see how that looks. That swatch, very beautiful. And yeah, this is like a, is it like a forest? green <laughs> um, super cute anyway and let's dig into next shade and this is a shimmer so let's see what we have here so it feels like you have like almost like a yellow green base with some green glitter <laughs> uh, but this is how it looks and yeah it feels good it is a little bit as I said, you have a base color and then you have some glitter as well on top of that. And here we have a matte lime. And this is a beautiful color. Really beautiful. So that is how that one looks. Next up, it's a brown and it's a matte. This one we need to build up a little bit. This is a very cool tone brown, as you can see almost like a olivey brown next up we have a shimmer this looks like a really grass green shimmer yeah these shimmers are i don't know how to explain them but this one feels like also almost like a topper but it is very sheer it's it has a base to it so it's not like this one but it is a very light lime green and some glitter as well but that is a very pretty color and then we have another shimmer oh, let's see how this is this is also a bit sheer but this is more like a cocky olivey green but a very very sheer light shimmer and the last shade we have here is this one and this goes more towards like a turquoise blue but it is a green but yeah here we have the shades and i'm gonna give you a close-up of these So yeah, as I said, this is a first impression and I'm going to do a look with this. I think I'm going to use, I think these colors right here, maybe this one, but not the brightest uh, green bluish. I think more like these colors right here. I have no idea. I'm just going to start to zoom in guys. So now I have zoomed you in guys. I have this on my eyes and this is from Kiko Milano. This is their eyeshadow base and or eye base <laughs> in neutral. So this is eye primer and yeah, let's dig into this little palette. I'm super excited because I really love the peach palette. So I think, should we go from dark to light or light to dark? No, I'm going to start. I'm gonna do light to dark. So I'm gonna take this shade right here and just start, put this in my crease. And as with the other one, there is a lot of kick up here in the pan, just 
for you to know about. As I said before, I don't mind kick up at all, but if you do, <laughs> you probably want to know that it's a little bit kick up here. So let's just apply this. So this is a pretty shade. I mean, I love these kinds of light lime green mattes. So this is a very pretty shade. So I'm just running this. It is a lot of kick up though, but in the pan. Yeah, I think, as I said, I'm not going to do the bright, a very bright look. I think more toned down, earthy, grungy look, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how this goes. But so far, so good, I would say. I mean, I really like this shade and it's very easy to work with. <laughs> I'm going to run this underneath as well, the smaller brush like this maybe you can see it's this one it's a morphe let me see m506 just run it here just smoke it out a lot i think and i'm very sloppy here because this is a very light shade so i'm not that afraid actually to mess it up yet but we'll see we'll see hopefully i will not mess this up so <laughs> but uh, let's dig into this one because i want to use as many shades as possible in this palette but i'm gonna dig into this green can you see the pigment on the brush and if i do like this i don't know if you can see maybe you can okay now i'm nervous this is a lot of pigment maybe it is yeah this is pigmented but i like it I'm just going to deepen this up a little bit here in the crease just to get this a little more green but I am going in with that brown quite heavily later on I think so I'm just going to put this in the crease just to make this look a little more green and I mean, this shade is pretty as well. I mean, it's performing pretty good. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see anything the otherwise. I'm just going to blend this. And with the same brush, I'm just digging into this again, this lime green. And I'm just going to blend the edges of these two right here. Just add a little more of that shade. And I don't think I'm gonna cut the lid today. I don't know. Let's dig into this brown now. Let's see. Yeah, we have a lot of pigment as well. Is this gonna look muddy? Or not? I I don't know actually. Well, it's gonna look grungy. <laughs> let's let's say that. Okay, I don't know about this brown though. I don't know if this is dark enough. I don't know if it's well. It's darker, but I don't know. Maybe it works. Maybe it actually works. I'm just packing this on, this brown in my other part, and then I start to blend it. I start to blend it in my crease and all over my lid. On the same brush, I'm going in with this again. I don't know if you can see the <laughs> when I tap it, it there is a lot of pigment that just flies around. 
you can see when I take this one now if the brown kind of disappears now so I need to add a little more brown over the brown as well maybe no yeah but I think this looks better actually so I'm going in with the brown again and this happen here in the outer part just a little bit well I think something like this is this looking okay um, I'm going in I'm gonna do my like a lower lash line now I'm digging into this one running it really close here and then I'm actually taking that lime green and just smoke this out a little bit here. A very smoky, smoky eye. And on this flat brush, I'm going in with this brown again and putting it here, look very close here to my little lash line. Okay, what kind of shimmer are we going to put on on the lid? I have no idea actually. Maybe these two right here because these two are quite bright and I don't want a bright. I'm going to use my finger today because with this palette I use the finger with these shimmers that feels like a little more glittery formula, like more flaky formula. So. There we have it. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna dip into this one. And I'm gonna put it here. This is pretty. Maybe I should put it like two thirds of my eye. And just put the other one like in a, in a corner because I think this looks pretty. I want it to be a little more like grungy, so I think this is a great color for that. It's very easy to apply with your finger. It feels like this formula just melts in on your eyelid very nicely and don't get that much fallout. So I feel like this is a great way to do it but if you have like long nails or if you are not comfortable of applying this with your finger i actually don't have a tip for you because with the brush i tried it was quite hard <laughs> but yeah maybe it depends on what kind of brush you have so uh yeah i need to go in with this one now and i need to go in with this one like Maybe I should take my small finger just to try to get in there. Maybe like so. Is this even like showing up? Yeah, it's showing. Mm, I like that. A really nice shade as well. And I'm just tapping it. So we just blend it out a little bit here it's a really pretty color let's see guys are we happy with this i like this i'm gonna take this brush now a little more fluffy brush uh <laughs> do i dare <laughs> do i dare to dig into this one i'm just gonna take a small amount of product because i want to kind of try to blend the edges here very softly like deepen this up a little bit Is that very light handed? Maybe something like this. I think I have a little bit of fallout here. 
this is a very pigmented green so I am very light-handed but I can feel it's really need to be more light-handed I think just to not mess this up yeah I think that looks great really happy with how this looks now so yeah I really like this look I need to put something in my waterline and some liner I don't know if I am going to use like a green liner like a liquid liner for the wing maybe or maybe not we will see uh, I will do this off camera and I'll be right back so now I'm back and of course I forgot to put something in my inner corner <laughs> but let's do it now. Uh, so why not try this shade, this champagne-y very glittery shade. I will try <laughs> to apply this with a brush. So I'm gonna take my pencil brush, I'm gonna dig into this and see. Actually it feels like I have a lot here but I am going to spray it just to avoid fallout and let's see guys it is a little bit flaky but ooh, this is a really intense inner corner highlight <laughs> oh my god is this too much um probably not <laughs> because i like it but it is quite intense but this was easier to pick up um, but I haven't tried the other shades in this particular palette to pick up but in the peach palette uh, it was a little more flaky this is flaky but it's small flakes <laughs> this, the other one is like bigger flakes maybe this is a little easier here yeah this works pretty cool this is yeah really like that shade so guys i have put something in my waterline i have put this uh vicon this is vicon cosmetics this is a an italian brand and this is in the shade jade green this is a long lasting eyeliner if i didn't say so so i think we can put on some lippies so this is from iheart revolution as well i bought these these are the vinyl sherry uh, liquid lipsticks it's kind of like a liquid lipstick and like a lip gloss somewhere in between that but i used this one this is the sour cherry in my look i did with the peach palette so why not ooh, try this one then this is in the shade morello and you can see this is more like a almost like a mauvey purpley color i hope it will look good with this eye look but yeah let's let's hope for that anyway <laughs> so let's just try this on and i really like the formula of these i think these are so easy to apply um I have something similar from NYX that is kind of this, I mean it doesn't dry down and it is like a lip gloss 50% and 50% like a liquid lipstick but this formula is better because I don't like the NYX one. This one kind of, the pigment stays on your lips so it's very easy to apply it good if you know what I mean it's just, it's not smears around that much and it feels so so soft on your lips so I really like these this is a really pretty shade I think so so yeah guys this is the finished look and I'm gonna give you a close-up so guys this was the finished look as I said 
said. Oh my god, I repeat myself all the time. Sorry for that. But I totally forgot to tell you, this is six British pounds, if you didn't know. And you can buy it from Revolution website. So this is iHeart Revolution. And yeah, let's talk a little bit about this small, cute palette. I say cute a lot. I, I don't know how many times I said cute in the last video, the way I did... Uh, this one <laughs> but they are really really cute i think this is a perfect like mini palette to grab when you are out of traveling or maybe you're just going to work and you going for a like a drink afterwards and you want something in bed just to touch up or i don't know i just like mini palettes as well i like big palettes as well not like the morphe size but uh <laughs> sidetrack anyways uh i I like that they had like a deeper shade in this one because they didn't have it in this one. But however, I think it didn't feel like this one was that deep. I would love to see it even more deeper <laughs> because it kind of, it was easy to blend away when I put this one on and I put in top of that, I put this one. You couldn't see this shade anymore. And I don't know, maybe it's the formula, you know, it's easy to blend away. But that was just the experience with this look. But it turned out pretty good or very good, I would say. I really like this look and I really love this shade. This is a beautiful shade. Also this one. I mean, this is a brown. <laughs> I mean, it's always nice to have a brown maybe. But um, I think these two are very pretty and these two shimmers are really pretty. I mean, look at that. It's very pretty. And I mean, this formula, I really like it. I really like it that I can apply it with a finger and you don't need to spray it when you use your finger. And it's very glittery. It's very like bam and it's easy. So I really like that formula. I was a little bit scared, I have to admit, when I did see this kind of formula because I thought it was going to be like a dry, formula that really flakes off and get everywhere and it's very very hard to put on your lid but i don't think so it's very easy to use your finger as i said and it's kind of wet formula i don't know when you put your finger in it feels like it's a little bit of wet so it's not dry but yeah i think this is a very cute palette and i mean i mean these two together it's perfect because here you have the greens and here maybe you don't want to combine it like that but you have like greens and you have like pinks and uh, peaches in this one but one thing I just wanted to mention again is this palette I got this for free when I ordered these two and these two lipsticks and another thing like this lip balm uh, but anyway uh, you got this for free as a gift and this is also from I Heart Revolution and this is the nudes palette I think this would be nice to have as a complimentary palette for these two actually so maybe I should just swatch some shades because you have this peachy shade here and this reddish like let me see here uh, this one and this one and I think that will go really nice and also this deep deep dark brown because I wanted like a really dark shade when it comes to this peach palette this is how that one looks I mean the deepest shade you have is this one and I mean you can see these two are not in the same like <laughs> level of dark darkness or what do you say but um this one is perfect to deepen up and then you have like this and you have this one these two like pinkish reddish peach uh, not peach uh corally shades and you can see these two are more on the reddish side than rather than the orangey side and I think if you use this one combining with these that will actually be a nice like transition shade and not get it too like corally red more like the peachy yeah the peachy vibe you have in this one so I think that will look good and then you have this one I mean if you want more like a muted uh, look 
uh, you can definitely use that shimmer combining with these shades right here so that was my thought anyway and when it comes to this palette and combining with this palette you can see you have a lot of neutrals here so if you just want like a neutral crease and you don't want a green crease you can definitely use i mean the brown and this peach a little peach like touch just but uh and you can use like a shimmer in this one maybe the two i use today like these two would be great and you can also like put in maybe these two actually these two shimmers right here i'm just gonna swatch them for you like these two actually that you can combine these two shimmers with this palette but also with this palette yeah you can do a lot of I mean different looks with these and but of course with the avocado palette it will turn out green somehow if you're not using of course you can just use these two and then you have a neutral look i just think i am going to use all these three combining um with each other like i think that's a great way and because they are so so small it's perfect to have with you so i mean having to three <laughs> palettes in your bag that seems a lot but when they are small like this it's actually perfect so yeah that was my thoughts i really like it so yeah guys this was it for this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it then i know and don't forget to support me by clicking on the subscribe button click on a notification bell leave a comment and yeah and i upload monday wednesdays and fridays if you didn't know so hopefully i see you on friday bye